Yo, what up, everybody? It is about that time for Alan Ginter number four. Full case. Let's get it. All right. You got the names on the screen there. First time I did this case, or I should say the first time I did a case of this, it took me almost two and a half hours. But that's because I, you know, I was, you know, awing and, and looking at the cards and, and whatnot. So I won't be doing that for this. I know that there are high numbers in this. But uh, for our sanity, I, I won't be going over that stuff. But of course, I will be showing all the cards. So in case uh, you know we miss something that you didn't get, there is video proof of it. And we can always go back and double check and make sure uh, that you get everything you're supposed to get. So here we go. I'm, I'm, I'm competitive, so I'm going to try to beat Jason's time of a minute 45. The reason it took me so long, though, is because, you know, I, I was looking at basically all the cards and whatnot. Well, again, Vincent, you and I both know that's beyond my control. So, I hope you made your sacrifices to the, uh, to the cardboard deities. All right, here we go, ladies and gents. I present to you, Alan and Ginter. All right. That's a high number, the Winfield Mini. Oh, I was going to say, a fill oh, no, uh, a napkin for the Philly Scott Kingry. Yeah, Greg, I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna buckle down on this one, and uh, you know probably gonna be very quiet. Aside from my heavy breathing, of course, you know. Got a rip card already in the first box for DeGrom of the Mets to 75. Mets already with a hit, not to mention that was a filler team. There you go, Ethan. Not bad for a filler spot.
three rip cards in this case. Nice. These dang minis are always like waiting to be seen. Just jumping out at you. It's a high number there, the A-Rod, Mariners, Mini. Nice three colors on this. Relic for Tyler Kepner, who's a baseball writer, apparently. All right, one box down. What do you mean, Joe? You mean how some, like, the cards are not numbered? Is that what you mean? Oh, dude, it's, it's very, it's extremely hard to get a, you know, to get a card that's numbered in this thing. You know, there are minis with numbers on them, you know, but they're handwritten. Uh, they're, you know, they have red ink and, and whatnot, uh, but those are very tough to get, very, very tough. You know, they average like maybe one per case, maybe one in two cases, you know what I mean? Like Minion says there, well, yeah, usually one per case, seems to be about the average. Yeah, I haven't seen those yet, minions. Uh, minions that instead of the number shows what card it is. Basically, without the set number, like my sub said, uh, I don't think I've seen those yet. By the way, if you're wondering about the box toppers, I saved those for last. You know, mix up well. I mean, we're we're pretty thorough with that stuff. You know, we know that the high numbers, anything from 351 above. That stuff will ship. You know, the problem with this, man, is just there's so many cards that shipping would be very expensive. But but I, I definitely hear what you're saying. I mean, listen, our, our sorters do an amazing job at uh, you know, making sure that what's supposed to ship, ships. We have whoever this chick is, Emily Jensen of Minor League minor league baseball manager apparently Greg I'm not sure I understand your question what uh what what break are you looking for Greg Okay. 
got an Eloy high number there. 388. Yeah, sub, you know, I, I try to show the back. Um, I'm pretty good at catching them, though. Has 19 Flawless come out yet? It has not. Minions, is that is that what the card looks like? The mini. So instead of the, uh, so what's the difference? So the difference is, it just doesn't have the card number. It'll just have the Ginter logo there. Interesting, very interesting. So let me see if I've seen any. Well, this is a high number here. There's meadows. So let me go through these mini so far. So that one has the card number, so that doesn't count. That one has the number. Okay, so at least now I know what to look at. Appreciate you, uh, minions. Good looking out. So it's got to have that A and G logo there in the middle, minus the card number. Gotcha. Nice. A Didi Gregorius was this break at start of stream number six. Greg, you're asking about an eBay break, aren't you? Uh, if that's your question, then yes. Yes. I haven't uploaded the eBay break yet, but the break that starts at the very beginning of the stream is the eBay break. Uh, I, I do say as, as, I'm pretty sure I say as much in the video. You know, I always have like an intro where I say what the break is and whatnot, but yeah. Black Borders with the A and G are SPs. You got a picture of that mix up? Because that'll help me. No, I don't see any of these with the black borders here. If you can, you mean these? You mean these, right? Is this is these is this what you're talking about right here? The black borders, these right here. Just want to make sure. I got that photographic memory, so that's the black border. That's what I thought. So then there's so another one there, another one there, another one there. Yeah, and if you're worried about the dude, all the mini ship. So well, let's get that cleared up right away. All minis ship. Whether they're veteran players or not, all the minis will ship. So, so don't worry about that. Ah, gotcha, mix up. Yeah, dude, if you're worried about the minis, man, everything ships. All the minis ship, so don't, don't worry about that. Let's see. 
No, no, listen. We're, we're, we're being thorough is what we're doing. Nothing wrong with that. You know, people got questions. I got answers, baby. That's what this stuff is about. But, you know, I like the knowledge. At least now I know something I didn't know before. You know, I knew about the high numbers. I didn't know about the black borders being SPs. Relic here for Longoria the Giants. So there was a Gregorius auto there for the Yankees. Let's see. So far the box toppers seem like regular box toppers. I can, I can tell when they're heavy. Those are usually the rip card ones. You know, they're they're a little bit thick. They got they got some girth to them. By the way, if anybody's interested, I got personal boxes in the store. Ha, ain't that the truth, Matt? Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Dang it, I knew that was going to happen. Embarrassing. So, back of the mini there. There's P, that by border. This is Ben Schwartz with a relic. Relic for Vladdy Guerrero Sr. right there. That is the Nationals. 
Deze. That's a high number, do a little. Black border mark call for the Giants. I'm gonna need a monster box. Burials twin relic. Carnacion Mariners, high number black border. Yeah, sometimes Eric. You know, we have a few people out there that uh, that buy them. But if I'm being honest with you, we we pretty much hoard this stuff sometimes too. I mean, the only thing we don't ship are veteran base cards, you know, and veteran base cards don't sell for much. Check real quick, see if I have any monster boxes to start putting this stuff away. I do not. I would have to make one. Ugh. I'm on box four right now. Uh, no, Jim. Everything ships except veteran base cards. Uh, we do state that in the description of the break. We do not ship veteran base cards. Yeah, Chris, that and set collectors. That is correct, uh, Vincent. We do not ship veteran base cards. That is correct. George Brett, George Brett. I'll just, I'll just make sure to include it, Eric. Are you in this break, though, Eric? I don't see your name up there in the list. But yeah, like if you want a couple George Brett cards, I don't mind throwing that in there for you. It's not a big deal.
I'll make a note of it, Eric. What team does George Brett play for? Or what team? I think he he's a retired Hall of Famer, maybe? What team did George Brett play for? I want to see Royals, but that's probably wrong. Oh, snap. I got it right. It was Royals. Nice. You know, I'll, I'll throw some uh, George Brett Royals your way, uh, Eric. Falls, look up below, Benny. It's kind of cool. Secret Dodgers. Man, no worries, Eric. I'll still, you know, still send you some George Brett cards. I mean, we have other Ginter base cards there, so. No biggie, my man. I'll take care of you. Verlando Astros Relic. Of course not, Giordano. Of course not. I'm going to have to put this stuff away. That stack is getting a little too tall for my liking. Chapman, Yankees Relic. It's a high number, Larry Doby Indians. Pedroia, another high number for the Red Sox. That goes to the non-auto, non-team spot. Matthew Mercer, voice actor and dungeon master, apparently. There you go. Nice. As you can see, hand numbered 13 to 25. Jose Canseco Rays. That's pretty cool. Eric, uh, well, let's see. On Thursday, Thursday was my sister's graduation. 
And that's pretty much all I did that day, you know. Went to her graduation, then we went to dinner afterwards. So we did that on Saturday. No, I'm lying. On Friday, I did absolutely nothing. Just stayed at home playing video games, watching movies, basically sleeping the entire day. And Saturday, went out with my boys and, uh, you know, had some drinks and uh, walked around Wynwood, which is basically uh, where all the locals go to get wasted here in Miami. So I, I, I definitely had fun on my days off. What about you, Eric? You do anything fun on your days off? I, uh, speaking of days off, I won't be, wait, whoa. No, no, am I, am I stupid? One, two, three, four. No box topper in this? Yeah, Jim, I'll be at the National. I will be at the National, me and Jason. Or Jason and I. Wow, no box topper in this. First time I seen that. Hmm. Doesn't say anything about the box toppers being one per box guaranteed. That sucks. I was saying, I want to see one of those books, man. Maybe a book or something? A hot box, maybe? Oh, so anyways, uh, like I was saying, uh, tomorrow I have the day off, and I will be going to SmackDown. That should be fun. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a big WWE fan, so that would be my, my second event ever. I went to Monday Night Raw a few years ago. On New Year's Day, no less. So that was pretty cool. And now I'm going to SmackDown. I'd love to go to a pay-per-view one of these days. You know, whenever they come to Miami. Eric passing down the hobby from one generation to the next. That's awesome. You know, I, I feel like once the younger generation starts to get back into this hobby, it'll it'll explode once again. Oh nice. Got the uh the gold border on these bad boys. The color box.
And one of one. And a printing plate. Ethan is on fire with the Mets. A one of one. Noah Syndergaard. Cyan printing plate. Mini Mojo. That's nice. There you go, Ethan. One on one. Your way. Very nice. Hot box indeed. Bo Jackson. Black border there. High number. So so many. Arcia. Brewers relic. Uh, relic. An auto for the non uh, team spot here. Miss AJ Andrews, the softball player. You can play softball with me any day, girl. The Mets and the non team spot are doing work right now. Trout Black Border. Kill brew, black border there, twins. Yeah, I heard that people didn't autograph cards. Like, athletes weren't really autographing cards until, like, the late 90s. Which boggles the mind. So, I remember that Tim Reigns. That was the Nationals. Actually, I was born in 89. I was born in 89. So there's that. Posada. High number. Yankees. Xander Borgert, Red Sox Relic. All right. I need something to put this stuff away before cards start falling everywhere. So... Boxes galore here. Start putting this stuff away.
think that'll do for now. That concludes that information. Let's keep it going. I want to see a booklet. Yes, I did, Brandon. I'm looking to fill elements next. Wow, Brandon, really? Wow. <laughs> That's wrong on, on a few levels, but thank you for that knowledge. You know, Brandon, and I, was, and I was just asking the people in the chat, man, what happened to Mr. Glidden? Where'd he go? I, you know, I, I can't continue this break until, you know, until they finally talked me into it. Nice, another number of mini coming up there. Relic for Brandon Belt Giants. number for his best family barbecue. Actually, no, I lied. It's a regular one. I lied. I lied. And 
Many that's numbered here. Roy Halliday. Numbered 19 of 25. Very nice. Blue Jays hit. Black border, smoke, blue jays. Maybe, maybe not, Josh. I mean, I'm making good time. 48 minutes, and I'm halfway in. Making decent time. Chris Sale, Red Sox Relic. Well, Josh, I'm actually gonna get, stand up and get some water after this, man. Get the get the blood sir the blood. I can't even talk. Get the blood circulating again. Man, Yankees with two autos already. Chance Adams right there for the Yankees mini autograph. Very nice. Yanks have been worth the dollar so far. That's a high number of Korea Astros. Well, you see, the Mets have hit twice. The Mets have hit twice, and so have the Yankees. Black border there. Flower and bloom deal. Let me get some water real quick. Shout out to Flanagan's. I love this guy.
I wonder, does this make a difference? Not really. I was, you know, thought about getting a Red Bull, but that stuff's not healthy, man. Trying to live that healthy life, Billy. Another regular top loader there. Well, Josh, man, believe it or not, there have been studies done on incandescent lighting in, in office environments and how it can affect productivity negatively. And studies show that incandescent lighting does drain energy from people. Don't believe me? Google it. Google incandescent lighting job or work performance. And you'll see that studies show that uh, employees that are under incandescent lighting tend to get tired a lot quicker than those under natural lighting, for example. It's actually a pretty interesting read. You know, you'll notice, like, especially for some of you guys that if you ever have, or if you have, or in the past, you know, maybe you've worked in an office setting, you know, where you're in a cubicle, or you have, you know, incandescent lighting. And then you'll notice that, like, around midday, you just get tired for no reason. Even though you had a good night's sleep and, and all that good stuff. Yeah, man. Incandescent lighting makes you tired, dude. It, it literally drains energy from you. In the same way that if you step out into the sun, you know, that vi the vitamin D from, from the sun rays, you, you feel re-energized. Dude, and I'm telling you right now, I, I, I know I just got up and I, I got me a little drink of water or whatever, but Without that light being on right now, I don't feel as tired as I was when it was on. No, yeah, I got a pretty big window out there, but it's, it's not dark yet. Yet is the key word. Yeah, big sub. Yeah, dude. Serious, for, for, seriously. Seriously. You know, that sun does provide some good old vitamin D. All right. So far, I have five boxes left. Ballinger Dodgers Relic. Posey Black Border Giants. It's a high number to yes, Blue Jays. The egg, the ever popular egg.
a big poppy. David Ortiz, Red Sox, Mini Relic. Not number, but there you go. Well, I've hit a, a, a couple box topper rip cards. Uh, I hit a an Aaron Judge box topper rip card in the very first case I opened. And uh, last night in some personal boxes, I hit a Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, rip card. Not, not a big one, but just a little rip card. Wow! 374 high number cesspit is there, but check this out. I'm balling, I'm balling. Or, you know, whatever. My shot, my, whatever this guy's song sounds. Post Malone! 5 of 10 on card autograph. Very nice. Very, very nice. This is like a $300 card right here. That non-team spot is the money spot. Pretty sweet. Somebody did call this. Like, oh, watch you hit a Post Malone autograph. <laughs> there you go. Minion, I'm pretty sure. Well, maybe I haven't told you this, but... Dude, shipping cards in one touches is a huge no-no. The reason being is that uh, more often than not, the corners will be will get banged up so we don't you know we don't sell one touches we don't keep them in stock and we don't ship cards inside you know we don't put cards in one touches and we wouldn't ship them that way either for the reasons I, I just stated uh, because the corners will definitely get banged up in transit thus affecting uh, the greeting of the card Etc. Etc. And that would just not be good. Post Malone seriously going for over a grand? Oh, you know what I was... It's funny It's funny you bring that up. Because someone someone on... Or actually, a few people were crying about Adeline Ginther on, on Twitter. Uh, at least I was reading on it this morning. People were crying about how this... Uh, this store owner... Uh, like, he, he runs a hobby shop. I, forget, I, I think it's Grand Slam Base. I forget the name of the actual shop, but he had like a card made for him in Edelin Ginter. And, uh, and, and the card was selling for like over $300. And people were crying about it like, oh, how the hell is someone who's, you know, never played a professional sport, never played for a team, how the hell is his autograph selling for over $300? I, I, I thought it was quite entertaining. Yeah. I I can't wait for the day where Tops gives me and Jason a call and they're all like, all right, guys, it's time to get you an Allen and Ginter. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. This is box number eight. Where am I on time? An hour. Eh, looking like close to an hour and 45, maybe under two hours. Let's see. Oh, 
Post freaking Malone. Rating 5 of 10 on card auto. Pretty sweet. I mean, yeah, like I said, I, I pulled an Aaron Judge box topper rib card that has three minis inside of it, so no idea what the hell's inside of it, but that Aaron Judge box topper rib card, pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, yesterday, in a personal box, I pulled a Ken Griffey Jr. rib card, which has one mini in it. Again, I didn't rip it, so no idea what the mini inside is, but that's pretty sweet. And now, I would have to say that Post Malone is probably the biggest hit, maybe. I say maybe, because we still got other, you know, boxes to go through here. I have yet to see a booklet. That would be nice. How much would you guys pay for a Cardboard Moses, you know, Adeline Ginter card? I'll start the bidding at one penny. At least 50 cents? I'll take it. Alright. Colfax. More than Post Malone. That's the correct answer. There you go. <laughs> Dude, I have a pretty nice signature. Look, I'll... At least I like to think it's a nice signature. And that's just, you know, quick. Quick signature right there. Boom. That, that's the government name signature. I could also do a little graffiti. I used to tag when I was in my in my younger days, in my rebellious days. I used to tag and do graffiti and whatnot. High number there. So I could do I could do a cardboard Moses signature. Yeah, and I would tell him I'd be like, "Yo, listen, only make two cards or your boy. You know, you got to do the cardboard Moses one, and then you know the one with my actual government name." You know, and it'll be two one on ones. Extremely rare. Very nice. strongest man right there and they have like these flower cards with seeds in them on those relics those are pretty cool Korea Astros relic Kimmy the G used to tag stop copying me Kimmy stop copying me a hunter, catfish hunter, black border manny. You know the, these guys that we used to work with. Uh, they had a they had a, a card made and then linked into the Jaspies. Uh, a couple of years ago, they had their very own Allen Ginter cards. That was pretty cool. Rizzuto. High number mini there. Waiting for the day that uh, me and Jason get that phone call. Go to Tops headquarters and get our Ginter cards made. What's up, Smokey? Yeah, you missed a pretty sweet uh, 
Well, you know, I'll just show you. There you go. Post Malone. No, they, they're 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 great people, Billy. They're great people. You know, we used to do business with them. Uh, I don't know why uh, we're no longer together, but you know, it's still nothing but love. Those people are cool as hell, and uh, hopefully, we get to hang out during the national. You pulled a mini, a trout mini today, Jim? Nice. Are you keeping that in the collection or what? Well, oh, this one doesn't have the card number. Very nice. Oh, dude, Joe is like the coolest dude ever. You know, little baby Jaspy, you know, he's whatever. Cool kid, whatever. Daddy Jaspy. I've, I, dude, I partied with Daddy Jaspi before. Don't, don't, don't be fooled, you know, because he's an older gentleman. That motherfucker can party. Holy shit. Kudos to Daddy Jaspi. That guy is the shit. And Joe, I, I, I cannot say enough nice things about Joe. Joe is a super cool dude, hella down to earth. Very, very awesome guy. You know, I got nothing but love for the folks out there uh, in Jaspie's Hobby Land. Dude, Eric, you know, I I might I might fuck around and uh, well, I don't have any right now, but like you know, Jason has you know one one of these, you know. And I have some. I just don't have any right now. I plan on making some at the National. I'll sign them and send them out. You know, go over to the PSA in the Tops booth. I'm here to make my card. I need you to print. Print 50 copies. Print 50 copies. Oh, which one is this one? Is this the one where he's bunting? Oh, no. He's just straight up. Oh, this was 17, so this was two years ago. There's another one with him, like, bunting. That one's my favorite. Jason Royden. <laughs> Then listen, if you guys come to the national, you will see Jason is solid, you know. That that dude is built like a tank. I, I would not want to get on his bad side. And, and you know what they say, you gotta watch out for the quiet folks. Alright, four boxes left. I would use your cards in place of dummy cards as packaging material. You know, Giordano, that would actually be awesome, dude. That that's that's some that's some fucking subconscious marketing for that ass right there. That's that I don't find that offensive at all. You'd be doing us a huge favor if you did that, Giordano. I might have to take you up on that. Might have to take you up on that. You know, if you for those of you that that may that are attending the national, I highly suggest having a drink with Jason. That dude, man, I, I love Jason so much. 
I swear to God, if it was just me doing this by myself, I, I probably would have quit a long time ago. Jason is the biggest reason that I'm still here. National right around the corner. You know, this time next week, Jason and I will be in Rosemont, Illinois. Oh, boy. You know, I can't wait to go out to Rosemont. I, I love that place so much. Chicago's a great city, great people. And I can't wait to meet some of y'all for the first time out there. And I can't wait to see some of y'all, you know, for the second and third time out there. Robles Nationals Relic. For a quick second, I thought that was that dude from, uh, what's the name of that movie? Major League. Freaking Post Malone autograph. That's that's pretty funny. That's a high number, Lou Brock there, maybe. I did not smoke it. You got a picture of that bad boy? That's a high number. Beaver. Mini. A Posey Giant Relic. Uh, Vlad Jr. Mini. When, where did I pass that? This one? You got it, dude. You got it, dude. I did not see it, Smokey. I'm assuming it's probably still here, then. Anything for you, Tony. Anything for you, Ray. I'll burn this shit down for you, Ray. You noticed, ever since I turned that light off, I have not fallen asleep. Do that research, y'all. Incandescent lighting and how it affects the brain waves. Yo, the human body is its, it's really a, a, a ridiculous machine when you think about it. And no, I'm not stoned. Not yet, anyway. Stuart Mini for the Tigers. High number...
Black Border, Rodriguez Giants, Mini. A, a double rip card. Oh boy. First double rip card I've pulled. <coughs> ah, Josh, listen. You know, I'm not even going to entertain that with a response. You're in the Navy. Enough said. If anybody knows how to bob for a cock, it, it's it's you. All right? A double rip card. Four of ten. Got Ricky Henderson of the A's and Eckersley on the I love that mustache. Man, I mean, if you rip one side, you got to rip the other one, right? Inside this card, there will be a mini artist original, a mini red ink auto, or a mini exclusive, or a mini wood exclusive, or a mini metal exclusive. It's not really moving around. Right, let me use the x-ray vision. I ah, can't see through the card. Probably got lead in it. Very nice for the A's. All that's left. I need I need to hit a booklet. I haven't seen that yet. You hit this guy, uh, Smoggy Bonomo. The I think this is the poker player. Yeah. I need I need to learn how to play poker before I go to Atlantic City next year. The national next year is gonna be in Atlantic City. I'm gonna be on that roulette table, baby. You know, my first time ever at a roulette table, I almost walked away with a thousand dollars, but no, just had to keep going. Where am I at on time? An hour 20. This one and two more boxes to go. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh shit, it's 8 o'clock. Monday Night Raw is on, y'all boys. Yes, it would, uh, Lipton Ice Tea. You know, definitely would make my life easier, that's for sure. And there's 24 packs in a box. Yeah, they got that Monday Night Raw reunion situation today. I am uh, very much so interested to see what's going to happen tonight. Dude, I hope I get to meet Ric Flair at the National this year. That would be amazing. Shatner's going to be there for the first time ever. 
I'm sure a lot of Star Trek geeks are going to want his autograph. Hulk Hogan's supposed to be there. So is uh, the Nature Boy. Wow, they got the Dudley boys out here? Rakishi's out here too? What? Where's Scotty Too Hottie? And, uh... I always... I always cool, uh, cool Master Sexay, I think was his name. Nah, I, 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 I won't, Lipton. I won't. Oh, it's Devon. Oh, okay. I thought it was the whole... The entire Dudley Boys. I haven't seen Bubba Ray yet. Yeah, I see Dave on there. All right, got a boxer mini there. But it's been on for like 15 minutes now. What what else happened? Uh, what happened earlier, McSub? I'm hoping that The Rock comes out. I, you know, he hasn't been confirmed, but the pop. The pop would be insane if The Rock shows up. I have a feeling that he is. Wade Boggs showed up there with a relic for the Red Sox. Stone Cold so supposed to be there. He should get a nice pop whenever he comes out. That's a high number, Davis Rockies. Black Border, Gwyn, Padres. Ah, uh, yeah, Smokey. Next year, the National is in Atlantic City. I wish they would add another venue. You know, they only have three venues. Chicago, or I should say Rosemont, Illinois, Cleveland, Ohio, and Atlantic City, New Jersey. Maybe in Colorado? That'd be kind of cool. For me, obviously. <laughs> oh, Lipton Ice Tea, did you, did you miss the... Uh, I, I, dude, I, I already hit a Post Malone autograph. That Ben did that player. John Lester Cubs relic there. Only wrestler you'd ever want to meet is Stone Cold Steve Austin. Same here. You know, I, I like to have a beer with him. And, you know, and if you have a beer with Stone Cold, you know he's got to give you the stunner. And, and I, will, I will gladly take it. You know, how many civilians can say, you know, they, they, they got Stone Cold stunned by the rattlesnake? Not many, not many. You know, to this day, whenever I hear like glass shatter, you know, Stone Cold Steam song plays in my head, and, and I'm just automatically ready for war, ready to raise hell.
That's a black border doll Rockies. Relic from Mercer. Matthew Mercer, voice actor, dungeon master, whatever that is. Two boxes left. SummerSlam is, damn, SummerSlam is like two weeks from now. got a thick one boys and girls so this is probably a rip card right there a box top damn this case all we need now I guess is a booklet that's four rip cards we got the double for the A's and then we have the rip card for the Mets so that's actually two rip cards well three with the box topper not bad not bad no, nah, I'm not going to open it now. That'll be the very last thing I open. Exactly, right, exactly. And minions, absolutely correct. <laughs> I was going to say, this ain't no democracy, ain't no votes. I'm doing it last, and that is that. Uso's about to be tag champs again. I thought the Revival were raw champs. We're all tag team champs. The Usos, are they... Are they Ooh, nice, a stained glass. Are they Rikishi's kids or like nephews or or what or cousins or something? I think they're his kids. I think. Oh my dog! But don't tell me he's about to do the dance. You gotta do the dance one time, Rikishi. Here's the stained glass. Yes, we are. We're in Miami, Florida, minions. Got a Andrew Jones stained glass mini right there. That's pretty nice. Who is this chick? Never seen her before. Holy crap. That is a babe. Very nice. That's what I meant. I meant Chipper Jones, not Andrew Jones. Ha <laughs> I'm glad somebody's paying attention. And Tori Wilson still looks good. Sheesh. Minions, if you want to do it that way, we can definitely do it like that if you want, man. 
you know, we don't mind shipping your stuff out, but yeah, if you want to pick it up, more than welcome to. No, I've seen Tori Wilson before, mix up. It's it's the other chick that was there earlier. I, I don't know who that was, and I know Santino. Um, I forget the the chick's name in the middle. She's supposed, you know, her character is like she's crazy. But earlier on in the promo, I I, I didn't know who that other chick was. I've never seen her before. I'm in love. Anyway. Uh, black border for Hudson Cardinals there. Yeah, there you go. Alicia Fox. That's her name. What was the name of that other chick? Like, her, the side of her head was bald. And, uh, she's got, she's got a piece of my heart now. You live up in West Palm Beach. Florida boys. Dude, that's a nice little trip, though. If you want, we're, I don't, we're, we're, by, uh, we're right by Dayland, uh, Minions. We're right by Dayland Mall. So from West Palm Beach, that's like, depending on traffic, that's like 45 minutes to an hour drive. O'Neal, Black Border Cardinals there. Man, the Miz got a hot wife too, boy. The WWE is just one giant cesspool. Everybody hooking up with each other. Man, Red Sox got relics for days. Rick Porcello, Red Sox relic. Sounds good, means Yeah, dude, just send us an email. We'll hold your stuff down. and come pick it up and uh, get to meet the crew in person. Burton Rocks, sports agent and author. I thought this, this, I thought this was Doctor Who. <laughs> uh, what's up, Brian? Yeah, actually, yes, we, we will have a, a bit of a promo for the National. I'll give you a sneak peek. Save 10% off your purchase. We're, we're going to be giving out promo codes at the National where you could save 10% uh, off your purchase. How's everything with you, Brian? In that paper for the Nationals. You actually gonna go to the National though, Brian? One box left. And then we'll see what's in those box toppers. Larson, what's this guy? Comedian? Jay Larson? Never heard of him. Another rip card! This one's for the Padres. Tony Gwynn. Padres. This might be the best case of Ginter I've ever opened. That's a high number Darvish mini. A 
Alrighty. Man, Carmella's been getting finer and finer. I mean, she's still got a little duck face, but she's looking good right now, boy. Say the same thing. Odds are something huge in one of these. Oh, the hurricane. I love this guy. Oh, Carmella, girl, you looking good, boy. Might be them big old hoop earrings. You know what they say about girls and big old hoop earrings. You know, the bigger the hoops, the bigger the, uh, you know what I'm saying? Not necessarily, Billy. <laughs> no. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was so. That was so innocent. That was adorable. That was adorable. Yo! They brought my boy. Hey. The Godfather in the house. Hell yeah. Where the hose at, though? Where the hose at, though? You gotta have a hose. Oh, he got one right there. Yeah. The announce lady. Okay. Okay, Billy. So the saying in Miami is... I'm not sure that this might be a thing around the world, but... We have a saying in Miami that, you know, girls with hoop earrings, the bigger the hoop, the bigger the whore. That's that's basically it. So, actually, I guess you're kind of right, you know. I guess you're kind of right, yeah. Anyway, the last box mojo. Good luck, everybody. Let's see what we got here. We got Perez, Salvador Perez here with a relic for the Royals. Yeah, there's your Royals hit right there. We've been marinating for you, Vinny G. Man, I'm, I'm disappointed the, the Godfather didn't come in with his hose. Oh yeah, Brian don't play. I know it's PG, but they're they're slowly like getting back to their roots, man. Like they've been cursing a lot more, and like as as far as cursing, like you know, saying ass, like I'll beat your ass instead of I'll kick your butt. You know what I mean? They're doing that a little bit more. You know, the other day, one of the wrestlers flipped the bird to another wrestler. You know that gesture's not PG. 
And then uh, in a past Monday Night Raw, one of the commentators literally said, holy shit. And, uh, you know, the show is is live, so couldn't exactly blur that out. Dude, the, the non-team spot is ridiculous. Graham Elliott, chef and TV personality relic there. I wish they would push McIntyre more, man. He has, like... He's the prototype for, like, a wrestler superstar. And he's a great heel. And I'm a nerd. Alright. Another high number. Eddie Murray Orioles. Probably mix up. That makes sense. Kind of the same reason with Nakamura and Asuka and uh, and Andrade. Even though they're all amazing wrestlers, it's a damn shame. My thing is like, yeah, I mean, at least they're doing it with Andrade. Like Zelina Vega, she speaks perfect English. You know, why don't they just do it like old school wrestle days? You know. If there's a foreigner, you know, or someone that doesn't speak English that well, put them with a manager, you know? They, they should bring that back in wrestling, managers. That's a high number, Schmoltz, Braves Mini. Autograph for the Giants. Frame the Mini for Derek Rodriguez. Yeah, mix up. That's true. Like, I know. I I completely understand McIntyre. I don't know, man. They're like they're not even they're not even pushing Strowman either. You know, they're they're pushing like all the wrong wrestlers. Like Kofi Kingston was cool and all, but I'm tired of that. I'm tired. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of the whole New Day shtick. To be honest. Well, that sucks, Billy. But I got a filler that uh, that I think is going to interest some people. But anyways, let's uh, see what's in these box toppers. What did he do at WrestleMania? I'm trying to remember. Oh, he missed spots in the Battle Royale. Almost injured one of the cruiserweights. I mean, dude, Braun Strowman is a, is a huge fucking dude. Yo, Brian, are, are you actually going to the National? Because if you are... Damn, I feel bad for Jason, but I might have to leave him alone for a while while I get in line to meet to meet the uh, the nature boy. Buster Posey there. Raw Ra in the house. What up? Martinez there. All right. Nice, Brian. Nice. You know, maybe you could join me at a White Sox game or something. 
That way I have company. Yosemite Falls there. There you go, Kimmy. A Kimmy and Cardboard Jesus uh, breaking bonanza. Heavy bias Cubs. Box topper there. Ronald Acuna Jr. Braves box topper. I want to see a box topper autograph, damn it. Kershaw, Dodgers box topper. The Boogeyman? That's who I thought. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh. Chris Bryant, Cubs box topper. Who is this? Is that Finley? Some some old dude just won the Who is this guy? He looks familiar. Aaron Judge Yankees box topper. Well, Brian, the reason I ask is because you know, we're probably going to leave Sunday or a Monday to go to the National, and we can't actually go into the building to start setting up until, like, Tuesday, I think. So I'm going to, I may have, like, a day or two to myself. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, the White Sox are playing. So, kind of want to check that out. Oh, Tiny Angels. Ah, that was Briscoe. Okay, I know Briscoe. He, him and, uh, that's where I know him from. Him and he, like, it was, it used to be him and this other dude. It used to be, like, Vince McMahon's, uh, henchman or whatever. Lillian Garcia! There it is. Briscoe and Pat Patterson. Yep, yep. I know who you're talking about. Briscoe is the, the dude with the black hair. Patterson was the blonde just now. They got my baby Lillian Garcia back. All right, so let's see what we got here. Ooh! Nolan Ryan. It's, it's in the corner dinged up here. Which fucking sucks. The bottom right corner dinged up. Everything else looks perfect, unfortunately. I would say, I guess you have to rip it. Since the corner's banged up, I, I would say rip it. But uh, that goes to the Rangers. Nolan Ryan. Triple rip in this bag. So we got a triple rip, a double rip, and then two other rip cards. Four total rip cards in one case? Pretty sweet. There you go, Rangers. Joe Pa. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry, Joe Pa. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Joey V. Little hit for the... All right, so that's going to do it for the break. So let's do a recap here. Man, three rib cards and two box. Uh, I'm sorry, the box topper rib card. Pretty sweet. There's a 101 there. We got some autographs. A decent amount of autographs here. All right, so... Start off with these minis here. I can seco for the Rays, 13 to 25. Halliday. Probably because she's I think she's Hispanic mix up. You know, my people do not age. Halliday to 25. Blue Jays there, Manny. 
a Guerrero Black Border Mini SP there. This one is a super short print, Lawrence Rocks. Doesn't have the card number on the back there. And the stained glass for Chipper Jones of the Braves. Pretty sweet. What's that one number two, Chris Fitz? Because the one I pulled was the 10. All right, so here's what I got. I got a DeGrom. I'm sorry, a Syndergaard. I always confuse the two. Syndergaard 101 mini plate for the Mets. Derek Rodriguez, Giants mini auto. Chance Adams, Yankees mini auto. Uh, we have AJ Andrews to the non-team spot. Matthew Mercer, non-team spot. Didi Gregorius, Yankees mini auto. Post Malone, 5 of 10 red ink on-card auto for the non-team spot. Very nice. And grip cards, we have a DeGrom to 75 Mets, a Gwynn to 75 Padres, a double rip card for the A's. We have Henderson on one side, Eckersley on the other. Four of ten. And we also have a box topper triple rip card, which is Nolan Ryan of the Rangers. As I said earlier, bottom right corner, a little dinged up, unfortunately. But everything else looks good. Three collectible exclusive mini cards inside. So there's that. So, that's going to do it for the break. Get, get, you, get you a Latina mix-up. What can I say? Get you a Latina. They are the best of both worlds, man. All right. So, now let's see who's going to win some break credit. I'm going to go seven times in the random. So, if your name's in green, that means you got a hit. Everyone else, unfortunately, did not. So let me put all this on the screen so you can see no shenanigans are happening. You tell them, Lipton. Tell them, Lipton. It ain't all sweet, baby. But when it's sweet, ooh, boy, it is sweet. Anyways, enough of that. Uh, let's go to the randomizer here. Top five names win twenty dollars in break credit each. Going seven times. Good luck, y'all. Tori Wilson still looks good, boy. Wow, they got the mouth from the south in there, bro. Who's that chick with that jean jacket on? Anyways, six money shot seven. Boom. What's her name? I forget her name, too. She's from back in the day. Eve, I want to say. Wow. Finally, they show Bischoff. Damn, Bischoff. Bischoff has aged. Anyway, distracted here. Seven times top five names are. Yes, Eve Torres. That is a beaut right there. Maria used to be pretty hot. She's still kind of hot. She plays a crazy character now. That's her name, Shalene Woodley. That chick with the uh, with the sleeve tattoo, with the jean jacket, uh, bow with the leather, black leather pants, to the right of the mouth of the South. Man, I gotta do some Google work. Anyways, uh, Brandon, Martin, Jordan, Fabrice, and Bob couldn't get you a hit, but I'm gonna put twenty dollars in your account. Thank you very much.